Hey, yo, what's up? This is Cypher Marshall Occurrence, Rain back up in this anti Illuminati all day, anti America all day, as you know. So, this video basically is going to be about 17 years old vagina is not adult vagina. 16 years old vagina is not adult vagina. Here on my channel, I'm gonna keep it 100 every single time. Because these days, people will say, well, you know, that's almost grown. No, no, no. Let's, let's look at the technical part of it. It's not an adult vagina. 17 years old vagina is not an adult vagina. That part, seven. It either is an adult vagina or it's not an adult vagina, right? Right or wrong? So who, so what makes it okay to be with a 16-year-old vagina? That's an, a child vagina. What makes it okay to be with a 17-year-old vagina? That is a child's vagina. It's not a woman's vagina. Can we clarify this? Can we clarify this? So I can stop the video right now. We have to be 100. The keeping the real era is gone. That's the seven. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't keeping the real no more. I'm keeping the 100. Because see, we're keeping the real. That could be redefined in how many different sections? But when you keep it 100, that's 100%. That's a seven. Well, 100% qualifies you. 90% does not. When you're qualified, what's that? 100, right? That's 100. That ain't 200. That ain't 5,000. It's not an extreme. It's 100. So, having sex with a 17-year-old vagina is 100? That's a 7. That's not 100. That's not 100. Because that's still in a child's bracket. That's what I'm talking about. Right or wrong? So, how can you get on somebody that's in a lower area of the child bracket, but you still in the child bracket as far as what you do sexually when you're with a 17-year-old girl that has a child's vagina. You see what I'm saying? Technically speaking, legally speaking, if you went to court, that child, that 17-year-old girl will be uh looked at in any court situation, any crime situation, anything that she's involved in legally as a child. Right or wrong. So how so so how do you feel about penetrating a a, a child's vagina as a as fully grown men and or women, women that mess with them too? How you feel about that? We want to know. Because, in my opinion, that's not 100. That's not 100. It's a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call. Because I'm helping you to see it beside all that, that cool stuff, cool stuff, all that cool stuff. Nah, 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 nah. Let's, 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 let's pull that back. Let's pull back all that cool stuff. Technically speaking. That is a child's vagina and anatomy. Those are child's breasts, right? Those are not adult breasts, right or wrong. So you're licking on child's breast. That's a seven. I got to give you the details because y'all look at it like, oh, okay, 17. Well, let's get into the details. A 17-year-old, these men or women are licking on 17-year-old child's breasts. 
I know it hurts, but somebody got to do this. Somebody got to do this. Because moving forward with all this perversion out here and all these people saying this, that, and the third, all these accusers and, and abusers and everything in between, we got to be 100. You can't be out here trying to get on somebody, get on the next man for something, and then you out here, technically speaking, you're with child's vagina. You, who, who, are you, who are you? You ain't no better. Because a real man or woman goes technical when it comes to this. That's a seven. Real men and women are going to say, nah, you got to be 18. And I hate to crash your party, but <laughs> that's a child's vagina. And for women that's with men, boys with 17-year-old penises, that's a, that's a, a, a penis of a boy. Yeah, because women getting it in too. Women getting it in too. That's, that's a 17-year-old penis. Okay. And this will separate the men from the boys and the girls from the women. This will separate us because one minute you're over here talking about, boy, I can't stand no, 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 no perverts. But then what is New York City doing? The age of consent in New York City. What is it? Right here in New York. Right here in basically the capital of America. What is the age of consent in New York State, New York City? What is the age of consent? 17. That is 17-year-old vagina and penis, period, period. I ain't trying to hear nothing else because if I brought you in the room and I was going to introduce you to somebody and I said, uh, it's a child, what you going to say? I ain't going to tell you the age. I'm not going to tell you the age. I'm going to just tell you that it's a child. What you going to say? No, right? That's all I need to say. If I entered, if I said I had someone for you to have sex with, and you say, okay, cool. They with it? Okay, cool. The other party is with it? Okay, cool. But that's a child. What? That's a child. What? Heck no. Uh-uh. Heck no. So what's the difference if I tell you they're 17, but they're still a child, that's a seven. Oh, because it's an older child? It's okay? That's a seven. It's technically speaking, though. we Like, everyone wants to be 100. 100 is the new era. Keeping the reals in the past. That's a seven. Yeah, because in the 90s and all of that, y'all was keeping it real. But you still had the age of consent of 17. That's a seven. Now we're keeping it 100 now. That's what the problem is. That's what the problem is. We're keeping it 100. Because see, when you keep it 100, it, it, it frees people that you thought was guilty. That's a seven. And guess what? It brings into captivity the people that you think should be free. Yeah. If you were doing something, if they talking about something you did when you was under 18, you technically were a child. That's a seven. That set you free. That's keeping it 100. 100 is you a child too. Boom. Ow. So see, it works both ways. All the people out here trying try to be, you know, cool and, sh and stuff. We checking that. And then people y'all accusing and they was under seven, 18, we set them free. That's a seven. Yeah. Okay. They had an adult brain. They had a child brain. All these, all these, all these guys out here messing with these 17 year old girls. All these, these guys out here messing with 17 year old girls. That girl had a 17 year old brain. A child brain. 
So you had sex with somebody that had a child brain. That's a seven. That's not a good look. I don't know any fully grown men out here trying to penetrate somebody with a brain of a child. Anybody, anybody signing up for that? And I know it hurts, but you know what happened? The a war broke out of morality. That's a seven. And, and, and when a war breaks out, guess what? You better be tight. You better be tight. If a war of morality breaks out in your country, everybody's on the chopping block. Oh, you thought it was just me, huh? Well, that wouldn't be right. <laughs> that wouldn't be right, would it? For me to be the only person on the chopping block. That wouldn't be right, would it? It ain't shifting the blame. That's what you want to say. That's a seven. Hey, if a war of morality breaks out, everybody's getting checked. That's why all of this stuff is coming out now. Because we at the end of times, and at the end of times, we gonna, we gonna, we, everybody sees who is who. We see who's who. And unfortunately, New York City, New York State, your age of consent for sex. Now, let me explain the age of consent, what it means. Like a lot of people don't know what that legal term means. That means that's the, that's the age a human being can say yes to another person for sex, and there's nothing nobody can do about it. They mama can't do nothing about it. They daddy can't do nothing about it. Their uncles and aunties can't do nothing about it. The law, the police cannot do nothing about it when it's the age of consent. It's nothing they can do. Their hands are tied. Now you see what I'm saying. That's a seven. That, that's why it's so serious. Because if you if you got a, a 17, 16-year-old girl, most of them ain't mature these days. They ain't got they ain't got no way to take care of no baby. If they have a baby. How did, you know any 17-year-old girls got money? I mean, on the average. Any 17-year-old boys got money. Real money, on the average. None of them do, don't they? None of them do on the average, right? So why would you give consent for them to be sexual and they can have babies and be... And it, that, that's a liability for you. Set yourself up for your own liability. You let them have sex and you, you're as the government, you're making yourself liable for their children that they can't take care of. And guess what they're going to do? Run down to public assistance and get on and get on welfare. That's a seven. So you just made yourself liable by having the age of consent at 17. That's a seven. I know you thought I was on the chopping block, chopping block. You thought it was fun, huh? How fun is it now when the whole country is under a morality war? Well, it's only right. <laughs> it's only right. We supposed to leave that alone. They supposed to, we supposed to leave this alone. It ain't shifting the blame. You want us to leave it alone. That's a seven. Are they leaving me alone? Still playing games, huh? Okay, so, so then why why would any smart, competent people let you be but play with me? That's a seven. Nah, every nah, everybody's up now. Yeah, it's 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 it, it, yo, we checking it all now. That's only right. That's justice. That's equality. Okay, you talking about something over here? Well, let's make sure everything is good before you start doing that. Because you know what happens either way? It's a form of hypocrisy when you over here with 17-year-old vagina, children's vagina, but you hollering and you hooping and hollering like they at funerals. When somebody else is out here in the same messing with the same bracket of human beings, there are on, there are only two brackets of human beings in the world. There's children and there's adults. That's a seven. There's children and there are adults. There are any in between bracket brackets. So is seventeen an in between between bracket or not? Is it a type of human being that's between? Is it a hybrid human being of adult and child? That's what you think. That's a seven. Ow. Last time I checked, there are no hybrid ages that, that has adult and, and, and uh, ch child in it. So either, again, 
either someone is an adult or they are a child. These are not extremes. These are 100s. That's a seven. Well, you're either an adult or you're a child. So why would you have the age of consent at child age? For sex now. Because see, if they, see, here's the other problem. So you think it's all about, well, that's almost an adult. Well, let's look at the financial bracket of a 17-year-old. That's a seven. The financial bracket, excuse me, of a 17-year-old girl is Burger King. And that's no disrespect to anybody out there hustling. But a child can't really make it on that. So you got to think about the obvious. Okay, someone has sex at that age, wild and not knowing what they're doing. And let's be 100, fresh to a man. You don't think they're going to have no children? That's a seven. So guess what that means? You just gave consent as the government for 17-year-old girls. You put them in harm's way as far as having children. And here's the punchline. STDs, too. You just gave consent to everything that comes with sex. That's a seven. You know, you gave consent as the government by giving consent to children to have sex and that gave consent to everything that comes with it, which is abuse, mental abuse. Forget about that part. Emotional abuse, even death. You got a lot of crazy people out here. Out there having sex in the wrong place at the wrong time, and now they're dead. You gave consent for them to have children. At 17, whole life ruined. Any plans to college is gone. Any plans to be a superstar, gone. Any plans to be an actor or actress? Gone. Because now you got to dedicate yourself to that child. So you're ruining dreams by allowing an adult, a child, to have sex with adults. This is not, it's not the only reason, the age technicality. It's also the fact that they don't have money to take care of no children. And if they catch an S, what if, what if they get HIV? At 17... Life ruined. Life ruined. What if they get herpes at 17? Because you gave eight, you gave consent to them having sex. Yeah, you did as the government. So now their life is ruined with herpes. See, you, you you guys don't think. All you think about is, oh, it's okay, that's almost an adult. But what about the fact that they can't take care of the children if they have a child? That's the main thing parents are stressing more than anything. You better not have no kids. Right or wrong, that's a seven. You better not go out there and have no kids. And that's what the government is allowing them to have sex, what you think is going to happen. What you think eventually is going to happen. If Okay, let's say it don't start at 17. Let, let's say they don't have a baby at 17. Guaranteed by 19, because they've been having sex for the past two years, they're going to have a kid. You forgot about that part, which is still a young age to be having children. See, you forgot about all that part, the having baby part, the STD part. When you gave consent for children to have sex, that's a seven. I, I got to be 100 because y'all, y'all look, y'all play cultural games in this situation. You play neighborhood games in this situation. You play city games state games in this situation and, and you had to get checked too what would it what how would think about it what kind of man would I be what kind of man would I be to let you play with me and you out here giving consent to children to have sex which makes which makes you liable for them having children because they're gonna run down to public assistance what kind of man would I be not to point that out what kind of man would I be? Yeah.
You ain't got nothing to say because you you sitting back drinking coffee. You ain't got nothing to say because you sitting back in a Lazy Boy recliner drinking a Coca-Cola. Yeah. You ain't got nothing to say because you really detached from the world anyway. That part. This is what I'm talking about, folks. And this separates, like I said, the men from the boys and the girls from the women. It's it's all about 100 now. It's all about keeping it 100. It's all about keeping it 100. See, this is the part you forgot about. Now, I'm going to keep putting emphasis on this. The financial situation of the ages that you give consent to. The financial situations of the ages of consent in America. The financial situations of these ages of consent, which is what, 17 and 16? All around the country. The age of consent is under 18 in 40 states. That's a seven. So in 40 states in America, you have children having sex, which makes you liable for the babies that they have in 40 states. That's a seven. And you think I'm tripping. But then, like I said, what kind of man would I be not to point this part out? This is what I'm talking about. And I want to I want to look in the face of these politicians and see what they got to say about this. I want to look in the face of these judges in law enforcement and see what they have to say about this. I want to see what they got to say about it. Oh, well, you know, that's how it is. But then guess what? You got to accept what else? All this other stuff is how it is. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You either are with us or with America. Is you can't have your cake and eat it too. You are either with us, people that are 100 about this. This ain't no cool jazzy club lounge. You either are with us or with America. It's no in between. Just like it's no in between ages for human beings as far as adult and child you either are an adult or a child there's no in between so if you have people that agree with what I'm saying you got it you, you, I, I'm, I, look I'm the messenger that's it you either believe you either agree with this standard or you with America which one is it playtime is over Playtime, the more, actually, the more time goes by, you have to choose a side. That's a seven. I know, you've been straddling the fence. There's more than one way to straddle the fence. Now you're straddling the fence as far as the age of consent in America. You don't agree with that. You do not agree. Most of you Americans do would never agree with that. But you're straddling the fence. You're either with us or you're with America. And I'm going to tell you what America consists of. 44 states with child marriage. You you with that or with us? You cannot have your cake in 2022 and eat it too. I'm not doing something cute here. This is real. This is war. It's real. And it, and it ain't going to change. It's reality. It's not, I'm not playing a game. This is. I'm not trying to go viral. If anybody, if if I was trying to go viral, I would be putting all kind of tags on my videos. I ain't, I'm barely putting tags on the videos. How I'm trying to go viral? <laughs> Imagine that. And see, with this YouTube age and this Facebook age, Twitter age, Instagram age, you know, everything, all these different platforms. People had a tendency to do stuff to go viral. You know what I'm saying? They want to be famous. How's this trying to go famous? And I think you, people see me like that. You see me like I'm trying to go viral. Do this look like a viral message? 
<laughs> well, I don't think most Americans are uh, gonna find this uh, a viral thing to entertain their family with. Now, do they? <laughs> you think they're gonna find this uh, viral worthy? You think they're gonna put aunties and uncles around and watch this video on Thanksgiving? Those, that's what viral videos get. That kind of attention. That's a seven. Yeah. They sit around and go vi They watch viral videos. That's what family members do together. This is too much truth to go viral. This is all about the truth, right? Picking your side. You got to pick a side. You can no longer be talking about, I right, well, I don't know. No, nah, no, nah. no. This, this, this right here is the rubber meeting the road. We're in a season now where the rubber is meeting the road. Judgment time is here. Exposure, extinct, people being exposed is here. See, they thought they was exposing me. Guess what happened when you tried to expose me? You know what happened? You found out I was a good person. You found out I was more thorough than they was. But see, that brought about a season of exposure for everybody. Now we find out that everybody got to choose. Everybody got to choose a side now. Yeah, that's where we at. That's a seven. Oh, you thought you was gonna pick on me and play with me, and it wasn't gonna be a whole morality war in this country? I'm too smart for that. I'm way too smart for that. You play with the wrong educated man. Okay? And I'm just keeping 100. Please don't flatter your children. I'm talking about for me. Don't flatter, don't flatter your children to think that I, I want to have sex with your children. You flattering them. Ain't no child cute enough in the world for me to be with or whatever else comes with what make people do it. Ain't none of that going to work with me. Don't flatter your children. <laughs> Every time you out here acting like, look, see, you want to be with this? Or, oh, let's see if you like this. You just, you just went, you just flattered the children. That's a seven. <laughs> Concerning me, but you're not flattering these Americans. See what they do with your children. When they got 44 states for child marriage, that's a seven. Hey, they'll scoop your children right on up. Sop them up like a biscuit. <laughs> Sop them up like a biscuit. Biscuit. Hey, they'll be drinking your children's bath water. <laughs> Yo, they'll be drinking your children's bath water. You got 44 states for child marriage in this country. You have to choose a side. You can, I don't care if it's gangsters, thugs, police, military, doctors, nurses. I don't care what you do. I don't care where you come from. If you're in Compton, you got to choose a side. If you're in Brooklyn, you got to choose a side. You're in Harlem, you got to choose a side. You know, you in Miami, you got to choose a side. You in L.A., Los Angeles, you got to choose a side. You can no longer be sitting up looking at this country with 44 states with child marriage talking about, well, I don't know. You don't know. You do know. And you know you're 100 and you got to choose a side. That's real. And whether you like me or not, this is what you have to do. I didn't ask you if you was going to be with me, per se. It's the side of morality or not morality. That's a seven. Yeah. You see me trying to recruit anybody? Unlike my enemies, do you see me trying to recruit anyone? Not, not really, do you? Not really trying to recruit anybody, huh? You got to look at people's motives, man. It's a matter of choosing sides in, at this point. You politicians, Joe Biden, you got to choose a side, man. 
I don't care how long you've been in politics. I don't care nothing about that. I don't care if you're the president. I don't care nothing about that. You are an American citizen first when you, you, and foremost. And that's what you've been before you was a president, before you was a senator. You were an American citizen. That's the foundation for anybody else. Police, before you was a policeman, you were an American citizen. Before you was a military officer, you were an American citizen. Before you was a school teacher, fireman, or anything else, FBI agents, CIA agents, before you were any of that, you have always been an American citizen. This is what it's coming down to. Barack Obama got to choose a side too. We all have to choose a side. You cannot, you, it's no, it's no gray area. How is there a gray area when you allow it to go on while you talking about you in the gray area? That's a seven. You should have knew my generation was coming. The hip hop babies. Yeah. You, oh, you thought we was going to smoke weed all day and drink all day, huh? Yeah. We got serious. We turned up. I turned up. You thought we was going to stay stupid all the time, huh? How about now? Yeah, that's what you thought. You slept on the whole generation. You thought all of you, and no disrespect to rappers, you thought we were all going to be aspiring to be rappers, huh? You thought we was all aspiring to be uh, gangsters and thugs and every, no disrespect to them. You, But this is the categories they put us in. You thought we was all aspiring to entertain you in some form or fashion. How about now? You slept on a, you, you knew, you knew my generation was coming. Huh? That I'm, I'm right at that sweet spot. I'm 40, I'm 41 